Hello everyone, welcome to our online service. We're so glad that you could join in with us for today. And with Christmas less than one week away, we're continuing in our series on coming to the altar and Advent. And so we're gonna get started in some worship soon, but before that, let's just pray. So Father God, thank you for everyone gathered here online. I thank you for your love for us. And I just thank you for Jesus and for sending him down to earth for us. And I just pray that today you would fill us with your love, your joy, and your strength. And we pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's sing. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Savior reigns, let them their songs implore, while fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy.
darkness we were waiting without hope and without light till from heaven you came running there was mercy in your eyes to fulfill the law and prophets to a virgin came the word from a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dirt King of 
breath till that stone was moved for good for the lamb had conquered death and the dead rose from their tomb and the angels stood in awe for the souls of all who come to the father are restored and the church of christ was born then the spirit lit the flame now this gospel truth of old shall not kneel and shall not faint by his blood and in his name in his freedom i am free for the love of jesus christ who has resurrected me All right, hope that you enjoy that time of worship. And next, we're going to be hearing from Pastor Fiona, who's going to be sharing the word with us for today. And I know it's going to be a good one. So let's make sure that we're leaning in and listening into what the Lord is saying to each one of us. And so let's pass it on to Pastor Fiona. Good morning, our church. How are you? Man, I am excited to continue our series to coming to the altar. And I just have to say, for those of us who live in Ontario, I know that we've heard some heart news with the Omicron that's happening and the new restrictions and it just seems like we're right back to last year again. And can I just say, uh, I'm tired and I'm disappointed as well, but at the same time, we don't want to allow just restrictions and the continuous pandemic to take that joy away from us. And I was really reminded this week about that the joy of the Lord to be our strength and we continue to be hopeful because here's the thing about Christmas, besides gathering with family and friends, and I know some of us are not we're really looking forward to it. It's so close, right? It's next week um, that we had to cancel plans and some things aren't going to work out. I totally get it. But can I just share the scriptures with you? It says, Isaiah 9, 6 says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I don't know about you, but what are you really looking for during this Christmas? Maybe we're still trying to process everything that's been happening for the last two years and we feel like we were just about to get a break next week. Maybe we're in the midst of a situation where we really need to be counseled. Maybe we're in a situation where we need to be reminded how big God is. Maybe we've been in situations where we need his shalom peace to root and reign over our hearts. I don't know about you, but I just know that his wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, and the prince of peace is still continue to be with us. And so while we continue to use about running to the altar during this season is will you run to the altar and proclaim that over our lives? I know when we're tired, it's just hard to proclaim anything, but I'm going to ask you, I'm going to challenge you, and I'm going to encourage you that you will continue to do so to proclaim that he is still a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, an everlasting father, and the prince of peace over our lives and our families. You know, so often our holidays, they come and go, and we uh, sometimes don't have a chance to focus on the true, real meaning of Christmas. And so 
perhaps and i'm not saying that it's great but perhaps that sometimes that we the the hustle and the bustles of christmas and the busyness of christmas that that perhaps we have another opportunity where we pause where we are remembering the true meaning of christmas besides gathering with our family and friends where we're going to be creative and how we could do this and respecting the restrictions are happening you know advent serves for a season to anticipations and reflection um, that leads right up to the 25th. It it actually means important arrival, approach, or coming. Advent means important arrival, approach, or coming. It is marked with remembrance for all that God has done and to anticipation for what all that he's going to do. So what will be some of the things that you're remembering what God has done? What will be some of the things this year um, that you can be grateful for? You know, there's the songs that count your blessings one by one. You know, it talks about the faithfulness of God and what he has been doing for us. So despite of that, we will be remembering of what is to come, the arrival, the approach. And of course, for me, it's the excitement of celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, the salvation that is still there, that we can celebrate that, that that salvation comes from that, that he was born so that the world will not only know the joy of the world. When we say joy to the world, why is, do we sing that? It's actually because Jesus came and that is joy to the world. And so for some of us who have been tired and and, and just tired, I mean, I'm tired, um, that we don't lose hope that the joy of the Lord is still a strength, that we are still being able to say, and we remember that he sends his son, Emmanuel. It means God with us. And we are expecting the returning of a savior. We are proclaiming the prophecy of the Messiah and that our hope, our hope is still remaining in him, that we are able to focus on what is actually really important, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. And so can I just say, that in the midst of everything that's been going on, like everything that's been going on, that we are able to sing joy to the world, joy to the world for the King has come. You know, all the songs that we've been the first Noel, the Kings of Kings, that we're able to declare it, we're able to proclaim it. You know, next week, it is going to be Christmas. And I don't know how you usually celebrate. And I understand that some of us have made plans for this year and it's just not going to happen because of the restrictions and everything else that's going on in Ontario. But can I just say this, that you are not allowed these um, disappointment to take away your focus and your devotions and, and your heart towards the Lord of celebrating the true meaning of Christmas, which is the birth and the... Um, the joy that comes to the world because it is celebrating that the Messiah has come and the Emmanuel is with us. Again, today, this morning, I am choosing not to preach too long because I do want us to reflect many times in the middle of Christmas season, we don't pause and we don't reflect. And so I'm actually going to choose to do that. I know you got a thousand things you can do. I have a lot of presents I still need to wrap and deliver and, you know, do all that wonderful stuff as well. But can I just say that we decided that today we're going to do a very short sermon so that we will reflect. And so we're going to have uh, background music going on. But I want us to focus uh, and and count, not only count our blessings, just to count our blessings, but reflect on this entire year. Maybe you can write about God's faithfulness for every single month from January all the way to December. What would, what, what would you say, even if it's one word, or what had happened that month that you're able to give your praises? You'd be like, no, Emmanuel was with me. You know, I could tell you there have been some months this year that it's been so hard and heartbreaking that I had a really good cry about. And I'm able to put that one word, but I'm able to put that one word to say, but Emmanuel was with us and God was faithful and he came through and that he's been with me. And there's some things that maybe I'm still grieving and that he's able to grieve with me. Or there's some things that I'm so excited about that I'm just bubbling up. And so these 12 months, what would be the one word or one sentence, depending on where you are in a journey with the Lord and how you write, how you processed, that I'm going to ask you that doing this pause for the next 10 minutes or so, that you're able to take a piece of paper out. I know we want to all do it on our phones, but sometimes there's nothing like take out a piece of paper that you were able to write one word, one sentence, just have that time with the Lord. What is it to prove to yourself 
that Imano has been with you this last 12 months, that he is the wonderful counselor, everlasting father, and the Prince of Peace. And first and foremost, I like to say he's my best friend, the savior of the world, but of my heart. And so I'm gonna bless you, church, to be able to do that. I'm doing that at the same time. But I bless you. May the favor of the Lord be with you. May his comfort be with you right where you are, that he that you allow him to wrap his arms around you and that the joy of the Lord would be would be your strength. And then whether you are going through a trial season, whether you are excited with a bursting news, that you would know Emmanuel is with you. And this Christmas holiday season, it's all about him and the family and friends that he provides for us to celebrate together. And so let's do this church for the, for the next 10 minutes. Would you just be able to just lean in and be able to write down, man, what would be that one word or phrase or counting our blessing and be able to write it out in reflection. Emmanuel was with me, is with me, and forever would be with me. That you're able to give your praises and have those conversations with the Lord. We'll see you next week. I know it's Christmas, but we'll still be online. And so I pray that you would just tune in. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go for it. Next 10 minutes, let's go right into God. It's a different kind of worship, but let's... Let's lean our heart in and lean our heart focus right there.
Thanks so much, Pastor Fiona, for that encouragement. And I really enjoyed that time of reflection and prayer. I was actually able to write a few things down myself in my notebook. And my heart just got filled with thankfulness towards the Lord for all that he's done this year, how he's been faithful. And I hope that it was a good time for you too. 
And remember that if you have anything you'd like to share or any prayer requests, you can always find us on Instagram or by email. We'd love to connect with you. But that wraps up today's service. I hope that you have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. Remember that you are loved and you belong. Take care.